Oh, good morning, guys. I'm a little bit hot. <laughs> Just been for a walk. I didn't have a very good sleep last night. We had so much thunder and lightning. At one point, like the thunder was right over our house and it was like boom, like really loud. It was a bit scary and the poor cats, they freaked out. <laughs> this morning we came downstairs and Mitzi was hiding under the couch. <laughs> I hate that the lighting always goes a bit funny when I turn around. <laughs> oh, I need some water. Uh, sorry I didn't get a vlog up yesterday. I was what did we do? We ended up going, we went to a shopping center. Um, oh, we saw Jimmy Barnes. Jimmy Barnes is like a, if you're not Australian and you don't know who he is, he's like a bit of a legendary singer, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, he was at the shopping center signing his book. So I took a cheeky little <laughs> a video of him. I'll insert it now so you guys can see, but that was pretty cool seeing Jimmy Barnes. What else did we do yesterday? That was about it, I think. Oh, look how red I am. Yeah, we, and then we just came home and I did a big clean up and um, started like, organizing things to, to pack for when we have to move. So yeah, I filmed a little bit throughout the day, but it just wasn't enough to make into a, a daily vlog. Yeah, just doing a little bit of work on my computer and look what I'm having. Ta -da! Some mango and I made myself an iced coffee as well. Oh, I'm so excited to have some mango, you guys. I've missed it. So I did weigh myself yesterday and I put on weight. I put on I think it was 1.1 kilos so that's just over 2.2 pounds um, so yeah I just I just don't think keto is for me I think I think what might have happened was because I was eating a lot more calories than I'm used to actually I don't even know what what happened maybe it was just my body trying to get used to like burning fat and I don't know but yeah just I just didn't feel very good on keto so decided to come off it <laughs> and I think what I'm going to do now um, is just go back to my clean eating and like uh, low sugar and I think I'm just going to do that for the next couple of months while my family and friends are here it'll just be easy for me to yeah it would just be easier for me to do that i think um a few of you were asking why did i do keto um i just the way that i've been eating i haven't really been losing weight i've just kind of been maintaining like i'll have little losses but nothing extreme so i thought by doing keto it might like shock my system and like I'd have a pretty good loss and I did have a good loss at the beginning but then it just plateaued out and I didn't seem nothing seemed to happen and fair enough I only did it for three weeks like I you know I haven't I didn't do it for a couple of months so I I can't say that's I can't say um that keto didn't really work for me because I don't think I gave it enough of a good go but um, yeah, from doing it three weeks, I know that it, it, I just don't feel good doing it, so I think I just love mangoes too much. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm just going to go back to what I was doing before, and yeah, we'll see what happens. But I'll, I'll keep you guys updated on my weight, and um, if I lose anything, I'll let you guys know. I'm making myself a bit of lunch, and it's not a salad. <laughs> I'm making it. A, um, a roll so I've just got a sourdough roll and then I've got a little bit of turkey breast and I've got some salad so yeah totally something totally different to what I've been eating for the last last three weeks I guess <laughs> One of the 
things one of the domestic things that I don't enjoy doing actually does anybody have any tips on how to get the sleeve part of a shirt to like not be wrinkly no matter what I do there always ends up being like a huge crease <laughs> down the arm like I've laid the I've laid it flat I don't know if you guys can see <laughs> so I've laid the shirt flat and then I just go over it with the iron but every time I lift it up like this side will be perfect and then when I lift it up there's always a humongous crease in it this is just an example <laughs> I already iron the sleeves but there's this like weird crease mark in it and I do, no matter what I do I always seem to get like that seems to happen and then I have to go over it and I just seem to have to make it worse uh, I don't know poor Jay <laughs> My new sunglasses just arrived. <laughs> what do you guys think? I think they look okay. Or do you think they're a bit too big for my face? No, I think they look okay. <laughs> sunglasses are by the brand Key. Um, and they're the Desi Perkins. I think they're the black fade ones. Yeah, so they're the Black Fade High Key, if any of you are interested. And that's how they look. Oh, and I got them from, you can either buy them on the Key website, or I got mine from the Iconic. Having a bit of an easy dinner tonight. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm just cooking some of these uh, Lilydale Free Range Chicken Breast Strips up um, I think they take about 20 minutes in the oven and then I'm also going to make a bit of uh, steamed broccoli as well <clears throat> I'm losing my voice tonight <laughs> oh, I've just washed my hair so I feel all fresh and clean <laughs> oh, that chicken smells really good actually I really want to buy um, that steam hair straightener that I was talking about a, about a while ago I just feel like the GHD that I use is just really drying my hair out so yeah I might I might um, kind of hint to Jay that I want that steam hair straightener for Christmas maybe if I'm a good girl Santa might bring it me you never know you never know Goodbye. I did it again I totally forgot <laughs> to end last night's vlog so I'm just coming on here this morning to say I hope you all enjoyed my vlog and I'll see you all again today <laughs> Bye.